Hello everyone, my name is Dutch Doomsday, and welcome back to another episode of Hearts Medicine. I left you off somewhere in the beginning of DR. We've met Sophia, we've met Joe, and we've learned that they have a relationship with each other. Daniel is also making some moves towards Allison. Interesting. And now we're gonna meet another character, very important, Mr. Asher. And today's challenge, we administer his treatment. But first, drama. I was about to send out the dogs. You had a pretty long lunch. Someone special. Saved by the bell. Whoop whoop. Is my dad going to be okay? Flashback. Oh. I don't know. But here comes Joe. Don't worry, we have the best doctors in the world working on him. Have a lollipop. Allison, I could use a little help. Run, you can't. Meanwhile, I have 300 to spend, and I'm just gonna buy another chair. Because I'm cheap like that. Why are green plants 750? Well, because Allison will walk faster when you buy them. That's a huge upgrade for Allison. So during this challenge, random events will pop up that require you to do something with Mr. Asher and her and his uh, daughter on, underneath that. Suturing minigame. No blood, just a little bit of red and pink tints. You guys can handle that, right? Otherwise this would not have gotten the rating it would have. So from this point onward, Allison has been managing suturing wounds. Take a scalpel. And then, here, take a little story element. No quick time bonuses required for helping Mr. Asher. Huh? Oh. His daughter's sending there all flustered and confused, no idea what's going on. Well, surprise, surprise, little girl. Many doctors here have no idea what's going on with Mr. Asher. It's just me. And everybody else that worked on the game, we know exactly what's going on with him. We actually researched a disease for him to come into the ER with. Oh right, the treatment for Mr. Asher also freezes everything around him. Meaning that you don't have to worry about missing another treatment when helping Mr. Asher. You can just click him whenever it pops up, really. And that's what you should be doing. It's an important story element, and it's a... Well, it's a rather easy challenge because of that. This music is also rather unique. I haven't heard this before. There we go. Inject Mr. Asher with the fluids. That'll be good for him. There we go. Another five patients out the door. And the level is already passed, but you know us, we're going for that high score. So far, no fuck ups. Treatment chains, even. Nice. And again, I was responsible for all the variations of this mini game. I got very standard shapes to work with, and I had to create 15 at the least different variations upon those. With each their own uh, pop up rate. There we go, getting glass out of somebody. It's a lot of different glass. Horace Elliot. Horace, that's an old guy's name. That fits. So, Mr. Asher is treated here. We have administered the treatment. But our level is not over yet. We still have many other patients to treat. Little girl will have to wait with all her little questions. At least she has a lollipop from Joe. So we don't have to be worried about that anymore. One huge scar for Bruce Phillips. There he goes. Gonna check these all out at once. Quick assign bonus from you. Let's get one cotton ball for the lady. And some disinfection fluid. There we go. Fill up the cotton balls, because, well, we have the time, really. 
to do that. Get the glass shards out of this lady's back. Ugh. The ones that go in deep are the worst, right, Claire? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Noif and gesture. There we go. No mess ups. We got all the patients gold. Got a couple of treatment chains. That's a decent high score. 360 will probably be the highest you can possibly get. But we got 358. And more drama. And a sip of my tea, if you don't mind. And at least he's stable. Yoink, yoink. Can I talk to him? Eh, you can try, but he might not be able to talk back yet. More sugar for the kid. Sugar solves everything. One for her and one for dad. Allison is a ghost. And she's back. What's going on, Allison? You haven't been yourself the whole day. Well, this is a little too familiar to me. <laughs> Game House really wants you to hear the unique audio. But yeah, we have another song here. Herder. Don't worry, Ali, we have parachutes. They'll never catch us now. Mm. And we live heavily up or after, right, Dad? Indeed we do. So that is Allison's dad. For those of you who haven't figured that out yet. And that's Allison. And now we go play hide and seek. And no going easy on us. Because I know exactly where he is. Already. Now, because he walked up, you think he might be up. You know, just for just for narrative sakes, I'll click everywhere where he is not. But he's not up. Let's look somewhere else. Yeah. Also not in the cabinet. Okay, that looking animation is something fiercely creepy. If, if they're ever making a Hearts Medicine horror game, just... It looks like her head is turning. 360 degrees, guys. Now this is where we were counting, so he's definitely not here. Could he be in the bushes? No. Oh dear, is it in, is he in behind the one interactable thing in the frickin' level? Yeah. But we found him. And dramatic music came out. Oh my. Oh, you didn't think this entire room was gonna be all happiness and sunshine, did ya? But first, challenge level 12. It's serious. Patience can't gain golden hearts. Deal with that, you smarmy dogs. And I'm gonna just... We got another bed, we got another chair, so it's gonna get a little busier around here. We also got this gas canister. Two different kinds. I'm gonna go ahead and buy a bed. Because I want all the beds upgraded mm -hmm. ah. the moment we can have that. So they can't buy... Uh, get golden hearts. Meaning... Uh -huh. We'll have to watch them at checkout. Their hearts will start dropping. And I like the golden heart bonuses, so I'm just gonna check them all out before their heart drops down. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh dear. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Let's do the minigame before we get the gesture treatment item, because that takes a while. Oh, yep. Yeah. Actually, we don't even get a golden heart treatment anymore. Wow, they drop fast. Wow. I forgot about that. That sucks. Some of these characters take a long while to drop hearts, but others, oh, others just want to die. If you don't help them fast enough, they'll go. They'll pretty much jump out the window themselves. So you'll just have to check them out. There's nothing really to that challenge aside from keep an eye on the hearts. Don't make, don't lose too many there, and just check them out. Okay, just check them out. Check them out. They're cool. Yeah, check it out. 
Now, I'm sure these cotton balls will go up in later levels. Now, if there's three of them, you can check them out. If there's four of them, that's even better, but I see these guys are dropping fast, so three is good enough. Have a knife. Shank. Switch your this man up. I'm pretty sure I made a couple, one of these variants at least to resemble a dog bite. Or a human bite, at the least. Oh god, you're going way too fast. Let's disinfect this boy with his dirty dirty. I don't know what we're disinfecting there, but I'm glad we got it. Just one little glass shard in your pack. Really, bro? Is that all it took to get you to a hospital? Dear oh dear. Also, fun thing to note, any patient that comes in on a brand car rarely, if not always, goes straight to checkout. Oh. What I mean is they don't get another chair treatment after that. They go in on a... They come in on a stretcher, they go out on foot. They do not come here for extra chair yeah. treatments. They just require immediate treatment and that's it. Sophia's just standing in this level, I like that. Oh. Very deep shanks in him. Hmm. Let's check these four out before they lose any hearts, shall we? Here we go. At least we're getting combos. And our shift is almost over, but we also almost made the level. I think that with these last couple of patients, we'll have nailed it easily. Which is great. The doomsday guarantee. I will never fail a level until the final levels of the game. Pretty much. Oh dear. Well, this is where stocking items ahead of time bites me in the ass. I did not have room for the second item, so I missed a heart. But then again, in this challenge, it's allowed to miss hearts. We're not going to be too strict on ourselves because of that. Get out. 260. Still a pretty good score for a first try. Beat that. This challenge level 12, we got another diamond, but not enough to buy something yet. So I'm gonna leave it at that for the, for now. We're gonna finish the ER this week if everything goes according to schedule. My name is Dr. Doomsday, and I wish you a very happy end of your Monday.